well, if I should translate the name of it, it uh, means lifeline in sorrow or in grieving. This is a story that goes back to 2007. Um, my son was 10 years old at that time and his dad uh, got cancer. But that day when he died, uh, we said goodbye to him, but also to all the support in the system. And when we walked out the door from, uh, from the main hospital in Copenhagen, I felt extremely lonely. I've never felt that lonely before. And there's a hole in the system. There is. Uh, if you see a timeline from, from a child um, have a loss or is losing somebody, and you, and you go ahead four, or, no, four to six months is the time when the child can go into a griefing group yeah. and actually deal with the loss. But in the main time, there is nothing, there is nobody. You are on your own, and that is actually the problem. The people we're sending out have lost themselves. Um, usually many years ago, they're done dealing with their own um, process. Uh, they are educated into working with people uh, in crisis. So they actually come out there and just showing up and talking to somebody who has tried it themselves means a great deal. Because we are not professionals, so we don't speak from the brain, we speak from the heart. So that person that is following the family, then asking all the questions and find out what is needed, what is the situation of this family. Um, and we look at all the family members. We do whatever it takes to make that family work mm. and go forward together. So you have to, you know, pick up three questions, but just one at a time. One at a time, okay. Um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm a very curious person. I was born curious to trust myself. Sure, you can do it. Let's bring her some, some uh, what is it called, cognac mm -hmm. or something. Said, you can do it, you can do it. So I got up the next morning and thought, okay, they say I can do it. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I was so scared. I did it, I can do it. It was a great, great feeling and that has followed me on. So every time I'm standing there, I says, I'm scared. I says, okay, you're scared, so you that's take, okay. So you just have a cognac every time you're scared. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> There's many things that, that you can learn from books, but the most important things that I've learned was from the people that I met. And, and if you're curious and keep asking, everybody has a wonderful story behind. Yeah. And, and you, but you've got to give it time and be willing to really learn and listen. Mm. And sometimes I feel like it's like running a business because you have to do exactly the same thing as in a normal business when you run a nonprofit. Uh, the only, th the biggest change is probably, or chances, that you have your hands back folded. I mean, money is a resource that is needed. I have all the people, but I also need some money. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's in the focus. And right so. now I'm just have the song of Appa, money, money, money. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's get back to the conversations. More, let's talk money. Money song in my head now. <laughs>